Hey everyone, it's Ivan, kitpatcher.com, out here for another gear review, and today talking about that little guy right there, which is the Kick 01 riser from Scalar Works. Big picture, what is it? What does it do? Well, it's a riser, so it raises things up. It's honestly just exactly what it does. And so right here, I actually have a Aimpoint T2 in a ScalarWorks Leap mount. This is a 157 mount, and this riser right here is 0.69. So if you put their 157 on top of this riser, you now are at about two and a quarter. So that allows you to keep a much more upright position when firing. Granted, there is a trade-off. Here's the thing, just big picture across the board. Everything on a gun, or every gun for that matter, is a compromise. Everything is a compromise, whether it's caliber choice, accessories, all of those things. And so just something as an aside to be aware of is benefits of a riser. As I mentioned, you can bring the gun up and have a lot more of a upright position and look through and aim, which is nice. And this for me, the place where this actually shines, shooting under night vision because trying to get down lower can be more difficult. You're craning your neck. You already have however many pounds on top of your head between your helmet, night vision, things like that. That I find to be a benefit. Again, compromise. So whether I am shooting this or if I throw this up and now it's magnified, I am not able to get down as far as I otherwise would if I have that riser there. Doesn't matter. Totally dependent on your shooting style, but it is a thing. And the other thing we come into con or comes into play is offset. Offset is always a thing. Basically you have a mechanical offset. So the center of your optic to the center of the bore, that's the mechanical offset. And when we move this up to 2.26, about two and a quarter inches, that basically grows. Where this comes into play is if you press the muzzle up against a target, where you are looking, where your dot is centered in your optic versus where that muzzle is, again, significant difference. And so does it matter? It absolutely can in that if you zero this gun at whatever distance you choose, 50, 100, whatever your zero is, as you come closer, that mechanical offset becomes more and more pronounced until your mechanical offset is like literally your mechanical offset. So that will shrink over time towards your zero, whether it be 50 or 100, but up close, you're pretty much eating that entire offset. Where does this come into play? Largely low probability shots in like a CQB environment where you bring the gun up and you're within 10 yards and it's an obscured low probability shot and you need it to go into like the left eye. Well, I better be accounting for that offset, which is much more than if this 157 mount was just mounted straight on my gun. So is it insurmountable? Absolutely not. Is it something to be aware of? If your paradigm is more than just putting holes in cardboard, then yeah, there's a lot of liability that comes with that. So be aware of it. The other thing I will say is not so well. Yeah. So with a magnified optic, whether it's a low power variable, something along those lines and a high mount bringing you up to two, two and a quarter. Personally, I don't care for that because your shooting position becomes compromised in that you need to be up higher rather than being down on the gun. With a magnifier and red dot, does it matter as much? Really comes down to where you're spending most of your time. If most of your time is just shooting through a dot, or for that matter on a low power variable, if you're pretty much always on one X and you're doing a lot of just heads up shooting, doesn't really matter. If most of your time is behind a magnifier or cranked up to eight or 10 X on a low power variable, then yeah, probably opt for a lower mount, 
rather than something on top of a riser or just a all together like high two plus mount. A couple of things I actually really like about this kick riser. On the one hand, it's lighter than pretty much anything out there. So this is similar to the Unity riser. Unity riser, I think it's like maybe 20% heavier. It's a matter of grams. Does it matter? I don't know. Eventually things matter when it just gets heavy, but this is in fact lighter and just little things, honestly, too. So aesthetics, super clean lines. This coupled with Scalarworks, both the magnifier mount as well as their leap. Again, everything's just super clean, which is honestly cool. I also do like that on, well, I guess, sorry, over on this side, they actually have markings for inch pounds. So rather than like, eh, it's probably this, like, no, it's telling you it's 50 inch pounds. That's what it needs to be at. But right here, it is set up obviously with this magnifier as well as leap mount. And it also works really well with EOTEX. Show you that now. And when I say it does good with EOTEX, it does good with pretty much any optic. The reason I mention them is because for me personally, when shooting under night vision, I actually really like EOTEX, big window, really clean. But I'll show you that. One, two, three. Have this torqued on here 45 inch pounds rather than 50 because i don't have a 50 inch pound limiter does it matter not really but i can then take my eotech throw that guy on there right there and now nice heads up especially under night vision and as far as how far forward you want it again comes down to use and application and yes i get it I may to go zero this now, but being able to have that there lets me get behind the gun much easier, especially under night vision. I then have to be aware of offset, of course, because my point of, or yeah, my point of aim, basically the line I'm looking through, I now have a larger mechanical offset. But the other thing that is nice is depending on what you want to run you can actually use the EO or the eotech well it is eotech but you can use the unity tactical riser for eotech and so what that does is again using this riser in conjunction with the unity tactical a uh, magnifier mount, it puts you right there, lines up. So whether you're using this in conjunction with the unity mount, if you maybe already have this, well then, easy day, you can still use it with the Scalarworks Leap mount if you wanna use those in conjunction with each other. Having said that, what has been my experience? How has it done for me? Well, it is done exactly what it's supposed to do. Works great. I do appreciate how lightweight it is. And if you want something that will give you that heads up shooting position, this will absolutely do that. Again, no free lunch. As I mentioned, be aware of just your increased mechanical offset. By way of example, throw this guy on here, just in case I need a backup optic. Just kidding. But that 157 versus this like two and a quarter inch significant difference up close if you are primarily shooting up close not insurmountable just you need to do some math when you get in those close engagement distances the thing i actually appreciate about this riser as well is the ability to try something out so by way of example if you're usually shooting and you have maybe like a Scalarworks Leap mount, got like a 157, which is working for you, but like, eh, kind of want to try like a higher mount. Rather than buying a whole other high mount, you can take your Leap mount, 
or anything for that matter, to include whatever magnifier you have, like the Scalarworks one, and get the kick, throw it on top of it, gives you the option to try it and yeah, see how it works for you. And if you wanna keep it like that, you absolutely can. Or if you're like, hey, I'm trying to cut as much weight out of this gun as possible, at that point, it's probably less weight, albeit more expensive, to go ahead and buy a dedicated high, like two, two and a quarter mount. But this lets you basically kind of dip your toes in there without just wholesale buying a higher mount. And it's usable with like 157 optics as well as magnifiers, which I think is pretty cool. If this is something you're interested in, there will be links down below. You can check it out. Price-wise, full MSRP is like 109 through Scalarworks. You can usually get it cheaper than that. Hey, I want it a lot cheaper, but I also want it made in America. Usually you get to pick one. These are made here in the US. They are made out of 7075 T6 aluminum, type three hard coat anodized, all that good stuff to include like metal fastener inserts for keeping this thing on there secure. Like I said, nice and lightweight. It does a good job of yeah, doing exactly what it's made for, a riser for optics. But there'll be links down below if you wanna check it out. And last but not least, if you appreciate my content and wanna support it, greatly appreciate it. One of the ways is supporting me directly through Patreon. Little is a dollar a month, early access to videos, sometimes exclusive content, and if you have questions, we have an active Discord, happy to answer them over there. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.